CR here, and I'd like to take a moment to talk about Marsha Wallace and Edna Krabappel. Now, for those who don't know, Marsha Wallace, age 70, TV actress, stage performer, and voice of Edna Krabappel, recently died on October 25th, 2013, due to complications from breast cancer. My condolences to friends and family. But, like a lot of people, The Simpsons is very close to my heart. And I say this knowing full well that I am limiting her range significantly. Marsha Wallace had a prominent role on the Bob Newhart show as Carol the Receptionist, and was featured as a guest star on countless shows ranging from Bewitched to Alf. But those were, sadly, before my time. Yeah, I regret that I am more familiar with her role as the maid on That's My Bush more than I am with all of her Broadway performances. But you know, Marsha reached out to a lot of people as Edna Krabappel. Did you know they actually considered her a guest star on the show? Which is funny because I remember her being featured so frequently and in so many classic Simpson moments. But one episode that will always stand out to me is Bart the Lover. The one where Bart replies to Krabappel's personal ad under the name Woodrow in order to get back at her for his detention. But after witnessing the aftermath of playing with his teacher's emotions, he comes to the epiphany that his teacher is a person too, with her own hopes, desires, and dreams, and learns empathy. Bart, you are the closest thing to a man in my life. And that's so depressing, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> this notion is very basic, but this episode personally taught me what would become a trademark for The Simpsons. These other people who occupy maybe a few hours or minutes of our lives on a regular basis have lives of their own. And you should take a moment to explore that and maybe understand something about yourself, too. This was just the third season, very early in The Simpsons' run, but it's garnered the show a lot of success to expand on the lives of Edna, Ned, Mo, Apu, etc. I created a show because I have a passion to explore the impact that seemingly minor characters have. And I can tell you right now, this episode and many more that came after it were a huge influence on that. And as of this date, this notion has aided me more as a person than it has a writer. And so, Edna went on to give us many pleasant memories. From the classroom... Now I know everybody's eager to get back to class. Ha! To her relationship arc with Skinner... <laughs> and eventually becoming a regular on the Springfield single scene. Oh, well, that's the last time I announced my dinner plans in class. That was Edna Krabappel. You only get one chance with Edna Krabappel. I hope you're happy. And you know what? It's all right to think Edna was sexy. They literally encouraged it in the How to Draw Simpsons handbook. For God's sakes, even Ned Flanders couldn't help but flirt with her. Did a volcano erupt in Candyland? Because I just caught me a flying red hot. Ha! Ah. And it couldn't have happened without Marsha Wallace. Oh, and some other guys. Now, Mrs. Wallace was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1985, so she has literally had this condition for as long as I've been alive, and still has managed to do so much. Not only in her performing, but she was also a cancer awareness activist. And not just breast cancer, her husband Dennis sadly died of pancreatic cancer in 1992. So I guess one of the best ways to honor her memory is to find a charity you feel good about and making a donation. Or hell, just show that video of Homer getting a colonoscopy to promote awareness. Go ahead, just Google it. As far as remembering her, that's never going to be a problem. Marsha Wallace has touched the lives of generations, audiences and fellow performers alike, leaving behind a legacy of laughter, behind the curtain, through the tears, and on the screen. Bart, it's such a nice day today. Let's have detention outside. It's a date. <laughs>